Hey, welcome to this demonstration of Oracle Redwood Starter Application Template and how to use it in Oracle Visual Builder. My name is Shai Schmelzer. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to create a new application using the template, how to apply page templates to the pages that you create and how to leverage those templates, how to use the patterns that come with the template and with different components, and in general, how to work with composite components that Redwood provides along with the Visual Builder visual development environment. We'll start by creating a new application, give it a name, and choosing a template that is the Redwood Starter application. You might want to check the version that you're using here to match the version of Visual Builder that you're using. Once you create the application, you would have here a web application with the default page created. And in this page, in the component, uh, exchange or the component palette, you would see all the Redwood components already here. Okay. You can also apply to this page all the Redwood templates. Um, for example, if you just click the select page template here, you can switch to use one of the default um, Redwood templates that are provided. For example, we're going to use the smart search for this page. Now, for each one of the components, there's a little help with a bunch of information over here. But if you need more information about using any of the Redwood components, just hop over to the component exchange. Okay. And since we are using the search template, for example, you can do a search for the search template. You would see the components over here. And if you actually click on the component, you would get the full documentation about the components, including the steps of how to configure each component, details about the API, data types, and things like that, and also links to the design documents that you can use while working with the Redwood components. Anyway, back to our page that we're designing here. If you click on the template component over here, you'll have a bunch of properties that you can set. For example, there's a page title. We're going to call this page the Movies page, a subtitle. And for example, color mode. Okay, there's light and mixed. You can add other options. For example, a go to parent link. Okay, you can add a primary action here. For example, a new button, things like that. All of those are attributes of the template that you're using. Now, the template itself has slots for information and components that you can add to the page. For example, in the slots slot, it would make sense to add an input search component, for example. Let's drag and drop it over here and map it to a variable. We'll call this one the search string variable. In the default slot, we're going to provide a view of data. Um, there are various ways to do that. Um, but if you're going to show multiple records, you might want to use another composite component that Red would provide, which is called the collection container. There's a regular one and an advanced one. Just to show you the collection container over here, for example, is a component where you can add, for example, a bunch of buttons to do various operations on the collection of data. Okay. Now, not all of those operations have built-in capabilities. For some of them, you would need to define events. So for example, if you click here, you'll be able to define an event for what happens when you click the Add button. Okay. Um, but in general, that's one of the capabilities of the collection component where you can basically decide which buttons you want to have here or not. Then there's a slot again over here into which you can drop pieces of information. So let's add a couple of business objects here to get us some information we can use. Let's work with some information about movies. And now that we created those business objects back on our page, we can use the data palette to take, for example, the list of movies and drag and drop it into this area to create a list, for example. So a list can be displayed, for example, using the Redwood 
layout for a list. Okay, the Redwood layout has three columns, so you can see them over here and you can set properties for each one of them as well as to the badge area over here. For example, we can add over here um, the title as the primary text, um, maybe the original title as the secondary text, and we can use the poster as the avatar source. In the second column, we can put in some information, for example, about the popularity of um, our movie. And in the third column, we can add, for example, information about the language that the movie is in. Yeah. And maybe also the release date, like that. If we click Next, and over here we can add our filtering. So we'll filter on the title, and we're going to check if something from our search string is in the title. OK, let's click Finish. And you have here basically your user interface. Now, this user interface is responsive. So for example, if we're looking at it on a big screen, you'll see the three columns. Right? If you switch to view it, for example, on a smaller device, you'll see that the columns automatically adjust to be one below the other. Okay, so this is one of the nice things about Redwood, it's responsive. Functionality wise, we can basically go over here now and do a search to find a specific movie in our list. All right, next thing you can do is you can add actions on here. So for example, um, on this list, we want to be able to select a specific movie and do something. So we'll add a trigger here for select item. And we're going to go to another page. So we're going to go and use a navigate to page to go to another page that would give us information. Now, the minute that you're using the Redwood template, when you create a new page in Visual Builder, again, you'll be able to choose one of the templates from Redwood as the base for your page. So we're going to use, for example, the horizontal foldout layout over here. Um, and this creates a new page with that layout. So just to show you, here's the info page. And if we open it, here's the layout. Now, this page is not just the template of how the page looks. It also has a bunch of behaviors built in. So you can see there's already actions defined here to do various things. There's also variables that are predefined here that control, for example, how this page behaves. One of the key variables here is called row index. This is basically the identifying key for the record that we want to give the information about here in this page. So if we go back to our main start page, once we created this page, we can see the bunch of variables that we can pass to this page that is based on the template. The first one is the parent page. This is basically the page that is calling this page. And in our case, this would be the main start page. The second variable that we want to pass in is the row index, which is the row key. So we pick up row key here. And selected panel is something we're going to skip. Bidirectional navigation, we can, for example, set it to false. If we don't need it and go to parent, we'll keep it as two. So now if we go back to our page designer for the first page and switch into live mode, we can basically pick up a movie, click on it, and go to the next page, passing in this movie ID over here. This page, again, has areas on the page, slots, that you can drop content into. So for example, we're going to take the movie information and drop it over here as a detail form. Okay. And we're just going to pick up a bunch of properties that we want to show about this movie over here. There's a parameter, we need the movie ID, which is coming from the row index variable from the page template. Again, this is a full pattern that is in place here. And now we got the movie information over here. Now, of course, you might want to fine tune how this page looks like, okay? For example, right now, we are showing things as a little form here. The title of the movie basically probably fits in better up here as it's the title for this horizontal overview. So we can go over here to the title property and switch it to be based on our movie title over here. Then we can remove this field from here, okay? 
Um, poster, for example, is something that would be nicely displayed if we use, for example, a card component. So again, Redwood offers a bunch of cards that you can use on different types of information. Okay, And for example, if we'll take the profile card and put it over here, this is the format for a card. And then the card itself can have a bunch of properties that you set. Okay, uh, The first property that you want to set is the card title. So again, this can be, for example, from the movie, it can be the original title over here. Okay, um, You can also set, for example, a subtitle. original language, like that. And of course, there's the image here. So this is our card avatar. And we're going to use for the image here, we can use the poster, like that. Now, a card can have other things in it. For example, a card can have a primary action. So for example, if we wanted to update this, we can add, for example, an update action here, um, like that. With an icon. And now we have this little update button down here on the card. In addition, you can add other parts to this form. For example, we're using summarizing folder panels over here, and we can add another one. So again, if we do a quick search here, we can find the summary folding panel over here. We can add, for example, one at the beginning, okay, and maybe move the overview over here. Okay. So this is how you build your page based on the template. Again, for each section here, you can control what information you're showing. So here's the overview. Here, for example, we might want to have uh, some basic info. And here we might want to have just uh, image info, like that. All right, now that you created your little application, you can run it. You'll be able to search on the list, okay, and um, pick a movie, get the information in a nice foldout with the little card with an update button over here, and this UI is actually responsive. So, for example, if we take this um, tab and we'll resize it to be at the size of a device, you would see that things have reorganized itself, so the buttons or like the foldout is now one below the other over here. You still have the navigate to parent, which now looks like that. On this page, the new button is the main action. It's over on the bottom. And again, if you resize this, it would be up here. So this is the responsive behavior you get out of here. You can also uh, notice, for example, that the image is resized if you're on a bigger screen. Um, so this is how you can use the Redwood starter application to create your own applications.